What is up all of you awesome and amazing people on YouTube? I've been wanting to do this video forever. I've just been waiting for the weather to clear up because it's been raining and raining and raining almost every single weekend since like December. Anyways, this is the Berkling multi a premium multi-angle multi-function butane soldering torch kit. What a great piece of kit to have in your garage, especially if you're one of those like do-it-yourself type DIY type. But also, if you're the backpacker type, and I'll explain why in a second, let's go ahead and take a look at the box. It comes very well packaged. I mean, look at this beautiful boxing. You do have your QR code there, which is kind of, look at that. They even put the logo inside of the QR code, which is awesome. Here's the backside of water, the backside of the box. It's just basically showing you, you know, the specifications, size at zero degree angle. It's giving you all the measurements so you can see how compact it is right? Max heat output, 250 watts. You kind of get that soldering heat blower. You kind of get that vibe going. If you're doing like shrink tube kind of stuff and you're, you know, shrinking up some tubing and wiring and all that good stuff, there you go. It shows you the different angles. So you can go from zero to 90 degrees, which is pretty awesome. Get into any situation you need to get into. You kind of get the idea. There you go. There's a little, you know, quick heat up can reach operating temperature in less than 10 seconds. That's pretty quick. If you ask me, okay, then adjustable flame control. You kind of get the idea there. Take your screenshots, all that good stuff. Keep in store away from children, you know, obviously be sure the flame is completely out after each use. Never exposed to heat above 120. You kind of get the idea or prolonged sunlight and then ignite away from face and clothing. Always wear protective eyewear no matter what because you never know whatever you're working on could explode literally in, in front of your face. So always wear protective eyewear, protective face wear, gloves, you know, whatever you need to do to protect yourself, do it. Just do it. So anyways, the box itself, pretty amazing. It comes with its own plastic carrying case which is really good quality it's got these buckles here so basically you pop these open boom boom one two the whole thing opens up nice foam padding in there as well and then the torch itself is like a ferrari it's like a tesla of like torchness i mean it's compact it's what look, look at the size of my hand it's pretty compact pretty small you saw the measurements on the box previously but when you go ahead and lift the base up this is the base when you lift this up what you do get is a little brochure that's been all folded up, like a little bit of paperwork. And what I love, love about this is the pictures, because the pictures are worth a gazillion words. It shows you how to refill the butane. It shows you how to turn on figure four, figure five. You know, you kind of get the idea how to rotate the knobs, what's going on, off zero degrees. You know, kind of get the idea. There's a bunch of safety features we're going to get over, or we're going to go over in a second too as well. So there's that. There's your warnings. Caution to help prevent personal injury. You know, never use this tool purpose intended for use. You kind of get the idea. Instruction, multifunction torch features five different angles. You kind of get the idea. Refill, right, which is it's then showing you, you know, figure whatever. So figure one and two to kind of show you like what's going on right there, right? Then you've got all this stuff. Hot air use, if that's an option, something you might be using this for. Using the torch, you know, soldering iron use, flame tube switch. You kind of get the idea. Uh, extinguishing, right? Turn the gas knob clockwise from the zero position. You know, it's showing you figure six, figure six dash one, you know, caution failure to extinguish the flame. It's just giving you all of those warnings, which everybody should do and read this very importantly before each use. Because sometimes you forget, you put it away, you don't remember, you know, what's what and all that good stuff. So just remember, don't puncture or incinerate the torch. That'd be a bad idea. You know, you kind of get the idea. Keep the tool gas cylinder out of reach of children. You know, all this stuff is in there. So great little, and then, oh, I love this too. It shows you what everything is. So you can kind of see G's, like the jumbo flame. And where is that on the kit? You know, and then you can see, like E is the sharp knife, sharp knife tip. You know, F is the stand. K is the, you know, the soldering, the solder wire. And then the L is the sponge with the tray. So you do get a little bit of solder wire in here, which is great. You do have your sponge with the tray, and then obviously you would wet that before each use, you know, take it out of here or, or leave it in here. Actually, you might, you might have a more, you know, uh, a stable platform to use it on or whatever. And then obviously you have all the attachments, which are great. Like, for instance, like here's uh, my phone ringing. Hold on a second. I'll answer that. And we're back. Okay, so there's uh, like one of your knife tips. You know, you can kind of see what that does. And it, that goes into its little slot and it has a little place and everything. Okay, so simple to use, even one-handed, this is amazing. So to, to adjust the angle, basically you pull down on this and then you basically lift or you can lower, you know, obviously do this with two hands if you've been using it for a while, wait for it to cool down, very, very important. But then to turn it on, it's press down and rotate the knob, which you can do 
look at that with one hand if I had to do if I had to do that. And then to ignite the torch is just one button. Boom, press it a couple times, it'll spark up and you're good to go. Obviously, you do need to fill it, fill it with butane. Very important. So there's your fill valve right there. Very ergonomic, very easy to hold in the hand. One of the main things that I love about this thing is backpacking. Backpacking and camping, which I promise I will do a video out in the field very shortly. So stay tuned for that video. But I can literally just bring this, right? I don't have to bring the whole kit. I can, I can literally just bring this. Make sure everything's sealed up nice. Wrap this in like a towel or like a shirt, like a spare shirt. Throw it into my backpack and bring this backpacking. Why is that important? There are times that I've been up at 6,500 feet or even 11,000 feet up like in the Whitney Portal area when I just could not get something to light and start, especially like a small little campfire. It was just almost impossible to get that sucker going. The wood was wet, snow, oh man, just you name it, every situation, every bad situation, I could not get a tinder, little tinder bird's nest going. So what I love about this that I will show you all in a future video is that I'm going to take this with me backpacking and camping and show you all how to get some of those harder woods to ignite like oak, oak, big one. Almond is a pain in the neck to ignite, especially when you're up at altitude or whatever, or even like ash, right? Ash is also a pain in the neck to ignite. Once you get it going, it's fine. It's just getting it to, to spark or start. So this is definitely going to be literally a lifesaver up there on some future backpacking trips. Stay tuned for those. I will put a link to this down below in the description there. Great company, great customer service. The, the folks over there that I talked to and dealt with, all very personable, very nice people. If you have any concerns or whatever, there, I believe there's social media. There we go. There is a QR code that you can scan, right? There's their website and all that good stuff, email address and all that good stuff. But great company, great folks that work there. I am going to really enjoy using this both at home for DIY projects and also out in the field on my future backpacking trips. So stay tuned for that. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button down there below. I am the old coot and I will catch you all on the next exciting Berkling review.